there. Wow, okay. Could I get you to maybe take it down a notch? I'm right here. <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. <laughs> My name is Kiyu. Nice to meet you. Nope, not like that at all. Look, dude. Are you gonna be alright? Looks like you're having some trouble holding it together over there. What do I mean? I mean, I can literally see you sweating through your shirt. Or... Hmm, wait... You know what? This might actually work. Yeah! Yeah! Oh man, this is your lucky day, buddy! Listen, I gotta go, but we'll meet again real soon. Trust me. Night! Hey you, rise and shine, we've got work to do! I said get No way, dude. No time to waste. Don't you recognize this adorable face? <laughs> it's Kiyu from the bar. <sighs> Why are they always confused? If you can't tell by now, I'm a fairy. Well, a love fairy to be exact. I'm glad you asked. You see, as a love fairy, it's my job to help poor saps like you out with the ladies. It's just mm, what I do. I don't like to brag, but I'll have you know I have a very impressive track record. All of my previous clients are basically walking babe magnets now. You though. <clears throat> Let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. Man, you and all the questions. Can't a fairy just help a brother out? We need to get started right away. Tell me, how many dates have you been on? Oh my god, it's worse than I thought, isn't it? Alright, grab your shit. We're going on a date right now. Someone has to show you the ropes. I know a place nearby that's open pretty late. You'll love it. Or not, I don't care. All right, I'll try to make this quick. This is the date grid. These little pieces are called tokens. You earn affection by matching three or more of the circular tokens horizontally or vertically. For a successful date, you have to fill the affection meter before you run out of moves. Go ahead, give it a shot. Match those orange ones with the crescent shape in the middle of the grid. See, easy. Each of the four types of affection tokens represents a particular trait. The orange ones represent romance, blue is talent, green is flirtation, and red is sexuality. Pay attention to which trait your date prefers. It'll go a long way. Of course, matching four or five tokens will get you even more affection. I'll show you. Match those four sexuality tokens in the bottom right of the grid, the red ones. Sweet. Okay, what's next? Oh right, let me cover the other token types real quick. The pink hearts are passion tokens. Matching those will raise your date's passion level. The higher her passion level is, the more affection you'll earn. The gold bells are joy tokens. You'll get an extra move by matching those. Very useful. The broken heart tokens are bad news. Seriously, avoid matching those as best you can. Finally, the teardrops are sentiment tokens. Matching those gives you, well, sentiment. You need sentiment in order to use date gifts. 
And seeing as how you don't have any date gifts, I'm guessing I need to explain that too. Here, I'll hook you up with one of mine. It's on the house. Like I said, you'll need sentiment to use it. So go ahead and match those three sentiment tokens in the leftmost column, the teardrops. Okay, now go ahead and give that date gift to me. Cool, huh? There are like a ton of different date gifts that you can get too. They each have a unique effect on the date and can be extremely useful in combination. Oh, <laughs> and thanks to a little fairy magic, you'll never actually lose them. So you can use them on your next date too. <laughs> Is that cool or what? All right, all right, I've gone on long. I'll let you finish up the date so you can get the hang of it. Oh, and don't worry, I won't let you fail this one. I'm not that mean. morning already? We are way behind schedule. Okay, check it out. I have one last thing to give you, and this is important. Introducing the latest in Love Fairy technology, the Honey Bee 4.0. The Honey Bee is an essential lifeline for any player on the go. It automatically registers the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. You can organize your inventory, buy new gifts, upgrade your traits, it's awesome! We don't have time to go over every feature, but you're a big boy. You can figure it out. To access the honeybee, all you have to do is right-click at pretty much any time. Or if you're weird, you can use that button at the top of the screen. <laughs> go ahead, break that bad boy open. it for now. Let's get out there and talk to some broads. That's what I like to hear. Now if you want to meet a hot chick, you gotta go where the hot chicks are. I've done some scouting and I have a few ideas of where to start. It depends what type of girls you're into. We can check out the university, the mall, the gym, the park, or the nearby cafe. What'll it be? Good choice, rookie. Couldn't have picked it better myself. All right, ready? Get your game face on. <sighs> Good morning, Aiko. Oh, hey, Belly. What's wrong? Seems like something's bothering you. Yeah, life. <laughs> How are classes going? Uh, I don't want to talk about that. Mm, well, I think I have just the thing. I'm headed to the beach to work in a few poses. You should join me. Nothing like a little exercise to melt that stress away. Uh, not today. I'm just not feeling it. Will I at least be seeing you this weekend at the studio? I'll be there. I don't think I have anything else going on for once. Great, can't wait. See you there. Dude. Bro, Asian chicks don't even get me started. I have like the worst case of yellow fever ever, ever. Like a yellow plague. Oh yeah, don't worry. They can't see or hear me. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Plot twist. 
<laughs> nah, I'm crazy real. I just hid myself from everyone so I can give you advice on the sidelines. This is a tough approach. She's kind of in a shitty mood, so say something stupid to try and cheer her up. It doesn't matter what. The stupider, the better. <laughs> oh my god! Could you please be more racist? Oh no, I'm good. I'm just trying to relax. Enjoy a little downtime between classes. I teach up at UOG. You know the place? It's like the only university in the city for some reason. Well, I'm supposed to be a physics professor. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> I'm glad you came over here. I needed a good laugh. The kids call me Miss Yumi, but you can call me Aiko. No way! You did it! Well, with my help, of course. I gotta admit, I did not expect you to pull that off. Beginner's luck. Don't let it go to your head. By the way, that other chick that was here just a second ago? Since she was in range, the honeybee started tracking her location too. So after you're done here with this girl, you can go catch up with her too. Just bust out the honeybee and check out the girl finder screen. I'm pumped. You pumped? Yeah, you're pumped. Go get him. I'll be around if you need me. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course you need me. I've got a question for you. Let's see. Longest relationship you've ever had? Pathetic! So, hey, question. How do you... Yeah, I had you figured like that. Mm-hmm. I've got a master's degree in mathematics, and I regret it every day. Can we get something to eat first? Yep, take care. Are you serious? Oh, come on. Just try it on. It's going to look so cute. Try what on? There's nothing here. Come on. I saw it and I immediately thought of you. You're going to love it. I promise. Oh, my. <sighs> All right. Just make sure nobody else is around. Yeah, sure. The coast is clear. <laughs> You're good. Jess, I can't wear this. What are you talking about? You look cute. Cute? Oh, stop. There's nothing wrong with a little skin. You can't keep all that boob to yourself, hun. It's not fair to the rest of the world. The world will be just fine without my... boobs. Yeah, but I won't. Besides, it wasn't cheap. So, you're stuck with it. So come on. Let's go. I am not going anywhere in this. I'm changing back. Ugh, you are impossible. Enjoying the view? Quick, now's your chance. Before she goes to change, just say something, anything. Huh? Oh, jeez. Hi, sorry, um, I'm so embarrassed right now. 
My friend made me put this stupid thing on. Sorry. One second. Let me go change. <laughs> Somehow, I'm not so sure I believe that. It's a little revealing, don't you think? I don't want people to think I'm like that, you know? <laughs> Shut up. You know what I mean. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not that bad. I mean, if you're really saying you like it. Oh, and hi. The person inside of the bikini you're talking to? Her name is Belly. <laughs> what can I do for you? I know some people think it's weird, but I do meditation. It really helps clear my mind. You look like you have something to say. Purple. It's the color of my favorite flower, the lilac. I get to sense something's on your mind. My cup size? Oh, wow. Um, D. <laughs> That's so embarrassing.